my friends today back with another tutorial in after effects this is probably one of my favorite effects that i've ever actually pulled off so what we're going to do is i'm going to take this clip and bring this into after effects so click replace with after effects composition and we're going to start in after effects so basically just to give you an overview of the steps you're going to be taking to actually create this thing what we're going to do is we're going to track the motion of this arm right here then what we're going to do is we're going to create some effects to actually be able to create that kind of burned away skin look we're also going to be able to put in the bones and i'll show you how to track the bones to where we're going and then I'll show you how to tie it all together and get that final look that we're going for if you guys are new here go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy the content we've got regular content coming out music videos tutorial if you guys enjoy this please leave a like it helps the growth of this channel a huge amount make sure you guys check out all relevant links in the description it'll link you to my website my packs any useful information that'll help you with this anyways let's get right into this tutorial so what we're going to do to start this out is we're just going to do some tracking to be able to get some tracking information which is going to help us throughout this entire process so first steps first we're going to right click here in this gray area go to new and go to null object you can always come up here to layer and also click new and click null object i'm just going to right click in this area so now that we have this null object right here this is just going to serve as a placeholder for our tracking information which we're about to go ahead and get right now so we're going to click on this layer which is the layer of uh, the arm moving and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to this tracker tab so if that's not showing for you go ahead and click animation and then go to track motion right here so we're going to click that it's going to pop up this little tracker window and it's going to pop up a track point as you're seeing right here so we're going to take the corner of this track point and we're just going to put it over here and we're just going to enlarge this a little bit so it kind of is filling up the side of his arm and i'm just going to kind of use his tattoo as a little placeholder so i'm going to try and just make the box the shape of this s right here so now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this track so i'm going to come down here to tracker first things first i'm going to click edit target and i'm going to make sure that says null one which is the tracking information i was talking about i'm going to click ok and we're just gonna click play. So you're gonna see the computer is doing all the work. It's gonna track it forward. Just let the track go through. I stopped it around right here because the arm starts moving out of frame. So as you can see, we have this tracking information that that tracker just went through and added in. If I expand it right here, you can see all of that, all the track points, all the keyframes that that computer just made for us. We're just gonna click apply and we're going to make sure it says X and Y and just click okay. So what that just did is it applied that tracking information that we targeted to the null object to the null object. So now if you see the null object, this little square right here is gonna be moving with that tracking information that we just created. Sorry if that sounds complicated this is more of an advanced tutorial if you're having trouble following along just rerun the video make sure you watch step by step what we're doing exactly okay so now we're ready to actually design the actual burnt texture of this skin so what we're gonna do to do that is we're gonna right click here we're gonna go to new and we're gonna go to solid right here just click OK for any color and we're gonna go to effects and presets and we're going to look up fractal noise so I was actually inspired to create this tutorial from an old tutorial from video copilot about five years ago where he actually made a person's face see through and have all these kind of like veins coming out that inspired me to kind of create my own version of this except using bones and also i tweaked a little bit of the steps to actually kind of get my own customized look as well as i wanted to cut off a lot of the steps that you guys wouldn't need just to kind of make this a shorter video up here to your effect controls for that fractal noise and you can just change around the evolution and what i like to do is i kind of like to just scale it up a bit like that and you can kind of just change any of these settings to get a kind of textured look that you'd like you can change any of the fractal type and change it like that so now that we've done that we're going to hide this layer right here we're going to zoom in a tiny bit and what we're going to do is we're actually going to mask out that area that we just created so make sure your white solid selected and i'm actually just going to rename this i'm just going to rename this skin texture so you guys don't get confused i'm also going to rename this tracking info all right so click on skin texture go ahead and click on your pen tool and we're just going to draw around the shape of this arm right here and depending on what body part you do this on, it can be different. So we're gonna connect that mask right there. I'm gonna click the M key, and then I'm going to bring this layer back. So click the I right here, and you're gonna see this is what we created. So just open up these mask options, and we're just gonna feather this a tiny bit. So just bump up that feathering until it's a little bit more in. And I'm also, and I'm also going to just adjust this mask a little bit so that it's in more because I don't like it going on the edges. I like it more being towards like the core of the actual arm. So now that we've done that, the coolest thing about us doing all that motion tracking at the beginning is now we can actually just go to this slot 
right here where it says parent and where it says none for our skin texture we can click on that and just choose tracking info scrub along you're going to see it's going to follow the information that we already did and also we can just adjust that mask path later on just to adjust for that that's pretty simple but basically it's going to save us so much time since we did that tracking at the beginning because we won't have to go hand by hand and create all those annoying keyframes okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to drag in the bone that we're going to be using and of course you guys could always just go on google search for any kind of png image where the background is transparent like this you can get any kind of other bone i'm going to be using the forearm bone i'm pretty sure the way he's facing it it probably wouldn't even look like this in reality uh, i'm not even sure because i never even took an anatomy class but i'm going to be doing this for tutorial sake and just because it looks cool but anyways what we're going to do is i'm just going to open up these little triangle options right here for transform and i'm just going to rotate this around and then scale it up and like i said i do not know if this is the correct way the bone should be i'm just doing this as a tutorial so i'm also going to stretch that out and i'm actually i think i'm going to flip this around so that this side is over there and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to select my pen tool again and i'm just going to mask out these edges and then feather them just to make them a little bit more blended so i'm going to click m once i connect that mask and then change it from add to subtract and then just bump up the feather a little bit right here so you're gonna see you get that kind of effect and then you can just drag back and adjust however you'd like. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other end. So I'm just going to draw a circle like that and then I'm going to open up the circle, change it to subtract and then feather it again, just like that. So here's what we got. We kind of have this blended bone just like this looking pretty cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do this cool little trick to be able to blend this all together and then track it as well. We're going to go and right click and click new. We're gonna make a new solid. Make sure that this is a white solid, so change the color to white, click okay. Place that, wh place that white solid underneath the bone, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold down control, click on the bone. I'm gonna right click these two and then pre-compose them. So basically just kind of like nesting them together into one layer. Go ahead and click okay. And then what we're gonna do is I'm going to select the skin texture, which is right underneath here. And I'm going to go to track mat and I'm gonna change that from none to luma mat pre-comp one right here. So go ahead and click that. And you're gonna get the look that the bone is actually underneath the skin, as you can see right here. It even looks like it's underneath the tattoos, which is super, super cool. And I think this effect is awesome. So first I'm gonna rename that to bone, just so you guys don't get confused. Then I'm gonna click on skin texture and I'm just gonna look up the curves effect. So go to effects and presets, look up curves drag that onto skin texture and then up to your effect controls and we're just gonna bump it up and then we're gonna come over here to red we're gonna bump up red and we're gonna kind of just play around with the settings here we're gonna lower green a little bit and then we're gonna lower blue a little bit we're gonna kind of make it like this red kind of looks like camouflage almost and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select skin texture right here and I'm just gonna change the blending mode from normal to color dodge or classic color dodge whichever one looks better and then once you've done that go ahead and adjust the curves because it might be a little too bright I'm also going to click on the bone right here even though it is a hidden layer since it is luma track matted what we can do is we can still change the curves of this so go ahead and drag curves under there and you're going to want to just drop these curves like all the way down even here all the way down until you actually start seeing the shape of that bone like that it's going to look really sick once you actually get it done and you might have to do some trial and error just to get this actually right Okay, so that's looking good. We're just gonna make a few adjustments. So I'm gonna click on bone. I'm gonna change the parent to our tracking info, just so whenever we move this along, it's gonna move along with the track. Then what I'm also gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on the skin texture. I'm gonna come over here to where it says evolution. I'm gonna keyframe that at the beginning, drag along, and then I'm actually just gonna move this a few times, just so it kind of makes it look like it's moving underneath there. And that's just gonna make the effect a little bit better. You can change the keyframe as much as you want. I think the the more subtle it is, the better. I think I kind of overdid it there, so I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit and just have it move a little bit, so just a little bit of motion. So we're looking good. All we really need to do now is just to change any of the mask and also add a little bit of rotation just so it fits on the wrist right there. So first, let's go ahead and fix the mask. I'm just gonna open up these options and then where it says mask path, I'm gonna make sure I'm at my beginning position on the timeline. I'm gonna keyframe that. So let's go ahead and drag a bit and I'm just gonna adjust this mask for however we move it. Click page down to move down a few frames. And we're just gonna make sure that this mask does not go too far off the path that we want it to. So that's looking good just to get rid of this rough edge right here i'm just going to add another mask so just bring out your pen tool and do that same technique where i was showing you where just where you just draw a circle change it to subtract 
and then go ahead and feather it just like that that's a super useful thing that you guys should know how to do and it'll just give you that nice smooth kind of curve like that so that fixes that for the actual arm texture itself. Now all we need to do is actually add a little bit of rotation onto the bone so that it actually moves with the arm. So pretty simple, click on our bone, open up our options for transform. Then we're gonna go ahead and just keyframe, position, scale, rotation, drag a little bit around to the end. We're gonna change up the rotation. And then I'm just gonna move the actual bone itself like that. So we just made some keyframes so that it actually kind of stays along the path of the arm, just like that. It looks really cool. Another little cool thing, if you guys want, um, you can keyframe the mass expansion for your skin textures. So if you want it to actually be a normal arm and then just kind of flow across the arm, what you can do is come to the beginning, drag your mask expansion all the way back like that, keyframe it, move to wherever you want the effect to pop up, and then just drag that up until it's something like zero. So that looks really cool. It's gonna like grow in, you can see the bone come in like that and that looks sick. So there's so many different ways you can actually customize this. Um, some other little cool effects you can throw on this to just sell it better. You can add a glow effect onto the skin texture just to kind of make it a little bit more just to kind of bring out that kind of fiery texture as well as I thought it was cool to add the sapphire flicker effect onto the bone just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. If you guys want to know how to do that rip skin transition that you also saw in the beginning, let me know in the comment section. I've talked about how to do similar stuff to it before. So if you guys have seen some of my older tutorials, you'll probably already know how to do it. If you want a full step-by-step -step tutorial, like I said, let me know. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Like I said, it helps the growth of this channel a huge amount if you do. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.